Hi, Bill from CJ's. I'm here with Kerry from Meadowbrook. He's going to tell us a little bit about their E Street EFI system. Great. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming. For uh, all of you folks that uh, aren't aware, we've got a brand new throttle body fuel injection system that is a fully programmable self-learn style system. So you can program it or it can be a self-learn. Uh, primary function behind it is a self-learn setup for anybody that might be having some hot start issues with their carburetor, cold start issues with their carburetor, or just plain fed up with a carburetor. This is a perfect system to be able to put on, bolt on, and be ready to go down the road. The heart of this system comes with a very small, compact ECU that comes complete with a wire harness, comes with a tablet, comes with a fuel pump, uh, comes with a, all the sensors necessary. This is our throttle body unit that actually comes with the system itself. This particular unit comes with four injectors, one in each bung. It also comes with a one-to-one -one linkage, which you can see going down the throttle body there. Linkage that is actually on the unit itself is the same as what you'll find in your carburetor So that will make uh, for pulling your carburetor off much easier when installing this All of the sensors come included on the actual throttle body itself So you have your air intake you have your TPS you have your map sensor And this is actually a fuel pressure sensor for the return less style setup that we offer this kit with your fuel will come in it will come around, it will stop here. The computer will actually control the amount of fuel pressure necessary for your particular application. To do the tuning on this system, it comes with a seven inch tablet that is completely wireless. So you don't have to be connected to the actual harness itself. You can sit in the passenger seat, you can sit in the driver's seat, you can sit in the bench and have yourself a cold refreshing soda while actually getting this thing tuned in. Very simple to do. You start out by doing your vehicle setup and then it has a setup wizard. So you just punch the setup wizard. A couple of basic questions to answer. First and foremost, for cubic inches, how big is the motor? If it's 351, you're set. If you need to reduce the number of cubic inches, say you have a, a 302 setup, you just scroll this down here to a 302, hit your check mark, and it goes on to the next setup. Next option you need to choose is actually the camshaft profile. Is it a stock cam? Is it a mild cam? Is it a wild cam? You just select the option that you have and it's really based off of duration. If you don't know what camshaft you have in there, then you, we have the ability to actually tune behind the scenes. So being that this is a self-learned setup, it's not going to be completely critical that you have this exactly on. So in this case, we know we have a mild camshaft. We're gonna click the check mark. Next question that you need to answer is in reference to your ignition. Does it have a point setup in it? Does it have a uh, MSD on it? Does it have a multi-spark discharge ignition box on it? Really, that's all we need to know. If it has a multi-spark discharge box on it, you would simply select the yes button, or if it does not, you just leave it as the standard default of no. You collect the check mark, then it comes down to the fuel system type. This is really where it makes our system unique to others, is this is a return less style system, or you can do a return style system, or we have a fuel reservoir system. And that is a, a system that we'll get into at a little later time. Simply select whether you have a return less or a return style or the reservoir on this selection point. In this particular case, we have a return type system and it is a uh, 600 horsepower max. We click the check mark. If we were hooked to the vehicle, it would actually do the calibration and send it to the ECU. Uh, being that we're not attached to the ECU right now, it's just going to give us a default reading. With that, I'm going to go back and show you some of the other options that are associated with this kit. Once you have the calibration loaded into the system, it will prompt you to actually start the vehicle. At that point, the vehicle will start, it will run. It will run a little rough to begin with, but then it'll slowly uh, stable out and it'll start to uh, idle nice and smooth. It will ask you to do that until the vehicle gets up to operating temperature of 160 degrees. Once it does that, it will simply tell you a prompt to go ahead and drive the vehicle. This is a gauge cluster layout that you can see of the vehicle while you're actually driving because it's a Bluetooth. So with that, you'll see this gauge cluster that will show you vacuum, it will show you your TPS rating, it will show you uh, multiple different setups as far as RPM, your air fuel ratio, and your specified air fuel ratio or a AFR space SP. The specified air fuel ratio is what it's learning to. The actual AFR or air fuel ratio is what the motor is actually doing. 
you will notice that it will scroll to the left and to the right until the air fuel ratio lines up with the air fuel ratio SP or specified air fuel ratio. If you would like to adjust the air fuel ratio at idle, at cruise, or at wide open throttle, you have the ability to be able to do that. If you don't know what an air fuel ratio is, we have a question mark up here that will actually that you can press that will show you all the options and explain air fuel ratio to you and explain what these numbers actually do. This will scroll up and scroll down so it'll give you all of the options to be able to make an educated decision on where your motor needs to be and how it needs to run. For you folks that are looking for mileage, this is where you can actually adjust your air fuel ratio under mileage. Uh, you can lean the motor out, you can actually get a better cruise mode and be able to lean this up a little bit and be able to get better mileage while you're driving down the road. For those that are looking for horsepower, this is where you can adjust your wide open throttle and you can adjust how much fueling actually goes into the motor under wide open throttle. For those of you that would like to include uh, additional features, there are two cooling fans that you can turn on or you can turn off based in the system as well. And all of the wiring is included in the harness that comes with the kit. Simply adjust the temperature to what you would like it to turn on and turn off at and you can turn them on and off very simply that way. Selecting the check mark will set the feature in and away you go. Also included in the system is a variable control rev limiter. You can adjust simply by pressing the up, the down. To set your check mark just hit the button and away you go. Once you hit the check button that now sets the rev limiter and you're covered. That goes over the main features of our E Street EFI. The biggest thing to consider is what fueling system you need to use on your particular application to ensure that it runs the best. Gives you the best performance, gives you the best drivability and throttle response. So it looks like a great system for anybody who wants to upgrade to EFI from the existing carburetor. Are there any limitations to it? Bill, that's a great question. Uh, the only limitations really comes down to the fuel system setup. If you do a return less style fuel system, which is basically one line in, no line out, it's limited to 500 horsepower. If you do a return style system, it's actually uh, 600 horse capable. So any of you guys out there that have a 600 horse setup, this system will work for you. Cool, great. Thanks for bringing it out. No problem. Thank you, Bill.